Howdy ho, people! Welcome back to another OHRPG CE Tutorials! This episode, we shall be looking at the Edits Graphics menu. It's the first choice on the main menu. When you enter here, you're presented with a few choices. And like the main menu, you can go through choices by uh, pushing up and down. You'll cycle them by highlight and highlight them. You can choose something by pushing enter, and you can back out by pushing the escape button. To return to the main menu, other than just pushing the escape button, you can also choose the choice back to the main menu, like that. Second up, you have edit map tiles. This is what you're going to typically be seeing for what your heroes are going to be walking around on. Draw walkabout graphics. These are the graphics that will be used for overworld NPCs and your heroes in the overworld. Draw hero graphics. And these are the graphics your heroes will be using in battle. Small enemy graphics. Three, uh, 34 by 34. These are the graphics for small enemies. Just 34 by 34 pixels, really. And draw a lot of medium enemy graphics. 50 by 50. Same thing, just bigger. Draw big enemy graphics. Same thing as before, just even bigger. Draw attacks. These are the animations that your attacks will be using. Draw weapons. These are the graphics that you will be using for if your hero has a weapon or something, if you want to use it. Draw box edges. These are the edges of text boxes that you can use. You can add more if you want, but we'll be getting to that in another video. Draw portrait graphics. These are what I can best describe as basically pictures of a character's face, or is what is typically used. Like in Final Fantasy VI, you, when you go into your menu, you can see on the left side the pictures of the character's faces. Something like that. Where even inside of the OHR RPG CE, you'll be seeing these pictures inside of either you can put them inside of text boxes if you want, or you can have them inside of your hero stock menus. You can do both if you want. It's really up to you. Import and export screens. This is where you can import and export your battle screens, your title screens, your game over screens, and any other type of screen you want. Import and export full map tile sets. This is where you can uh, import any map tile sets you have or want to have. You can even export any tile sets if you want to use them for future projects. The same thing goes for the screens, by the way. Change user interface colors. I'll go over this menu now. This is the general color sets for <laughs> mostly just text. But I can show you. Background. This is a ge generic background color here. You can change it up as you want. Menu item. These are just choices in menus that you don't currently have selected that are selectable. Disabled item. As you can see on the right for the examples, you can change the disabled <laughs> item's colors. You want to have it set to something distinguishable. Selected item. These are the colors that your selected choice that can be selectable will flash. There are two uh, frames here for colors. And the same thing for the selected disabled item, only for unselectable things. And highlight. To be perfectly honest, I can't really say what this is for. Sorry. Um, I think it might be for use in game battles, perhaps. 
Anyways, time bar. <laughs> this is the color your if you're playing active time battles, you will be having your character's turn gauge what their color will be. Time bar full is when the time bar is full and your character can take their turn. This health bar is the color of your character's health bar, and health bar flash, I believe, is when your character's health has changed and it shows basically either the gauge is going up or going down. Default text. This is for text boxes, but you can change the color of it, as you can see in the bottom right. Text outline. These are the colors you can have outlining your text. Spell description. I do believe this is for the spell menu colors. Total money. <laughs> this is the color that your money will appear to have inside of your stats menu. Vehicle shadow. If you have a vehicle in your game and it floats, like say an airship, this will be the color that their shadow has. And the rest here are just box styles, which you can choose to have uh, different uh, borders, and you can have different colors. Whatever you wish. And that is it for the edit graphics menu. <laughs> so. Tune in next time for more OHR RPG CE tutorials for whatever else you need, really. <laughs> Make requests if you want something done sooner than others, and I'll try to get around to it. So, see you next time, and goodbye.